Hey, how's it going, everyone? Brickspedition Day 2 has just started. Now, I did record a video of me playing through Day 1. However, that footage got corrupted, and you can't go back and replay the battles. Uh, so that was pretty unfortunate, but the battles themselves weren't very difficult for Day 1. I mainly used some fun teams to try to beat them, uh, like I used my space characters with a shared 7-star Gorwell. Uh, so it was really fun to have like some actual content to do, something to play, and it actually sounds like uh, day two is going to get much more difficult. So it actually works out. This video is going to be more interesting because uh, the battles themselves will be more difficult. And I've heard that the last battle on this stage is very difficult to beat, even with level 50 gear six seven star characters. So this is going to be quite interesting, especially because this is only day two. So there's still uh, day 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Day 7 is going to be quite interesting for quite a few reasons. Uh, first of all, you can use shared heroes. So you can see right here it says Guild Ally 12 left. And that's down 3 from yesterday. Yesterday you had 15 that you could use, and that does reset for each day. So you can use all 15 on day 1, and you'll still get 12 for day 2. You just can't use as many because it gets harder as you move on down the days. So day three, you're probably going to only have eight that you can use. Day four, maybe six, then four, and all the way down to day seven, where you're probably not going to be able to use any shared heroes. So that's one of the reasons that uh, the seventh day is going to be so much more difficult. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is you can retreat from a battle if it's going poorly and your character's progress and health and whatever will be reset. However, that's not the same for the guild allies. So, for example, let's say I let, let's say my guild is only sharing one Gorwell. There's one Gorwell that my entire guild is sharing, and I decide, you know what, I want to use that Gorwell to beat this battle. So maybe I take these five characters right here in with Gorwell, and let's say that I lose Kai. Kai dies. Well, obviously, I don't want him to die because I want to use him in the other battles. So what I can actually do is retreat from the battle, and then my Kai will be back at the health that he was before, not dead, and I can enter the battle again and try it again. So if a battle is going poorly, you can retreat and attempt it again. However, the amount of guild allies that I would now have left would be 11. So that would count as one of my guild ally uses. And now I could no longer use that one Gorwell that I used uh, on the battle that I retreated. So that's worth keeping in mind if there is like one character like Gorwell that's a super powerful shared hero, maybe save them until the end, the very last battle, because you might need them for that one. We also now have med kits. That's these things right here, and you can see the character's health beneath them uh, or above them if you're looking at them right here in your roster. And you can heal them up using these med kits. And each med kit is going to restore 1% health to the character. And these can be found in two different places. One in the shop for 100 gems for 100 med kits. Or you can buy 100 med kits for 300 guild currency. And I actually bought uh, this twice on day one uh, to do some testing with how that exactly worked. So here's what I found. If you want to restore health, you have to bring them all the way to 100%. So if your unit is sitting at, I don't know, let's say 70% health, you're going to need 30 med kits to bring them back up to full health. And you can't just apply like 25. You have to do the full 30. Also, if a unit is defeated, it will cost the full 100 kits to bring them back to life at full health. So you can't just like use one med kit and bring them back at 1% health. You have to spend the full 100 to bring them from dead all the way to alive. So that's pretty much the pricing uh, of the med kits. And also you can get these as rewards from certain Brickspedition nodes. So you might not even have to necessarily purchase these from either store. Before we actually enter a battle here, let's take a look at excavation. So yesterday it was 80,000 for tier 3, here it is 120,000. And basically you're completing the excavation for the next day's map. So yesterday I did the excavation for today. So now I'm going to have those bonuses that I unlocked like attack up. Uh, two for two turns at the start of the battle. So I'm going to get that when I actually go into these battles here 
in just a second. So here are the map three bonuses. And so let's take a look at this and we'll see what units we can assign. Okay, so we need 120,000 total awesomeness to reach tier three. Uh, and Tank and Ninjago allies get 2x awesomeness. So Lloyd here is the only one that gets uh, x4 because he has both of those tags. Obviously, we're not going to assign him. Uh, we could do Nia because I doubt we'll use her. Although, let's actually use Headley. Uh, Headley, well, there might be a battle that would require the castle tag. Let's take a look at our castle units right here. King Brutus at 3 stars would probably be better than a 5 star Headley. Let's go ahead and assign him. Uh, let's actually go back to the main screen. Let's go ahead and do Dummy. Let's scroll down here. What other units can we... Let's assign these guys that we won't use at all. They are quite useless. And there we go. We have 129,000 right there. That's plenty. We only need 120, but we're not going to be using any of these weak units down here. So we've assigned Headley and Dummy. Those are the main two powerful ones that we assigned. And then some useless ones. So let's confirm that. And there we go. There's Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. And those are some nice buffs right there. And that will be applied to Map 3. Uh, but now we cannot use those units that we just applied there. So if we scroll over here, you'll see there's no Demolition Dummy to be seen. All right, but enough delay. Let's actually hop into a battle now. So I think it's 10 battles no matter which direction we take. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I think it's going to be 10 uh, no matter where we go. And we get 12 uses of shared heroes. So let's just go ahead and use one. Uh, for this first battle, uh, let's throw in a Jester. Why not? Uh, this top five right here has been my arena team for quite some time, and they're all over 30k awesomeness, and the difficulty, uh, or, or, or I guess the power of the units, the enemies that you face, is determined by the power of your top five units. So since mine are all over 30k, uh, these opponents should be quite difficult. So let's hop into the battle here, and I'll kind of talk about why this five is my arena team right now. So I like to use Lloyd uh, with pirates because uh, for a couple reasons. I'm one of the only people that's still using uh, Lloyd in Arena. I think there's only two other Lloyds in the entire top 50 of my Arena shard. But he's quite effective because he gives the team stealth. And stealth prevents counterattacks. And both pirate teams and castle teams rely quite heavily on on counterattacks. Actually, I'm blowing through this battle. This is not that difficult, although it is the first battle here. Uh, but yeah, stealth is super effective because it stops Redbeard from counterattacking, it prevents Burnabus from counterattacking, and those are the main two characters that uh, if they counterattack, it's great for their team. Because when uh, Burnabus is counterattacking, he will regain tons of health, which makes it very difficult to uh, kill him. Let's real quickly hop into this battle here. Looks like we're going to be getting some tiles for Jay's Cyber Dragon. Uh, and I will do a video talking about all the new Ninjago stuff. Uh, but let's just hop right in here. We'll use the same team and this time we'll grab... We'll grab a Zane. Why not? Okay, but yeah, so if you can stop Burnabus from counterattacking... Uh, the castle team loses a lot of viability, and it's much easier to defeat them. Uh, that's why stun can also be effective, because they won't counterattack. Uh, same thing with dizzy. Uh, so, so Zane can be useful in some areas. I mean, if you're going up against Burnabus, and you just need to stop him from counterattacking, and you don't want to use Lloyd, Zane can be a good option, since he does apply that dizzy. But yeah, if you can stop Redbeard from counterattacking as well, that really shuts down a pirate team. I mean, if you can take out Redbeard, uh, pirate teams completely fall apart. All right, next up, it looks like we've got two directions that we can take. The top one requires either space or collectible, and the bottom one requires castle or collectible. Uh, I'm actually going to go south because I don't need Cook Bart tiles. I have him at max seven stars, uh, and I wouldn't mind some for Brutus. So let's go this direction. Uh, we can use our castle team, and these are just level 30 opponents, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Let's throw in Magisto 
and we'll throw in Hiker as well. That will be much more effective uh, than Cactus Girl. And we'll add a Zombie as well. Why not? And let's make sure we swap to the right set. Okay. Uh, here we go. But yeah, I really do like Lloyd versus the current meta. Not a lot of people do, but I don't mind him. And especially when you put him with the other characters in my arena team, Scarlet, Redbeard, Bart, and Kai, it's just pretty effective because Kai is there, of course, for the massive damage. He's very effective at doing uh, pretty massive hits, and his ultimate is insane. But then you have three pirates there, and whenever uh, Scarlet or Bart is damaged, Redbeard will have that chance to counterattack. And also, they're all going to be doing a lot more damage because of the Forbidden Island set, uh, and that will be a really nice boost to your team as well. And then, of course, Bart has his massive heal. And also, Scarlet will taunt when Lloyd starts to fall low on health at the start of the battle. And then Scarlet will be getting attacked since she's taunting and she's the only one that they can attack. And that means she'll be drawing a lot of the fire. And that means Redbeard will be counterattacking. And I just generally really like that team. So it works well for me. I've been able to climb pretty high in arena, although typically I get lazy and don't do the battles. But most people don't like Lloyd. I do. I think the team works quite well. And I'm really excited to actually try out... Uh, the team of uh, Kai, Lloyd, Wu, Redbeard, and Scarlet. I think that's going to be deadly. I think I've mentioned that a couple times now, but that's one that's going to be fun to try out. And the Master Wu event is starting here in just about three days, so we should be able to try that out quite soon because my pirates are ready for Master Wu. Uh, but yeah, we're just autoing our way through most of these battles. It's not too difficult just yet. And also, if you do want a bit more of a challenge with these earlier battles, you can use different factions. Like, uh, I used my space characters uh, in map 1, and it was a fun challenge. It was actually uh, quite enjoyable, even though my space is terrible. I liked using Dwayne, finally, and he was actually not too bad with Gorwell. He was hitting for a decent amount. Uh, but yeah, you can totally try out different teams to just... Uh, increase your enjoyment of Brickspedition, just try out different things, but eventually the battles are going to get much more difficult and you're going to need to use your arena team. So here we only have one option, which is this one, so we'll go for it. Uh, let's read this real quickly. All foes gain one stack of fuel over time for 10 turns. Okay, that's quite a bit, uh, although the opponents aren't very strong, so that's not going to be a huge deal. So right here you can see the med kits. We can heal them up. It takes a few med kits. Let's actually do one right here. We'll throw some on... Let's throw them on Kai. 14 med kits. And there you go. He's now max health uh, just like that. So it's pretty straightforward to use them. You basically just tap on the character you want. Uh, or I guess you just tap on the med kits underneath the character that you want to heal up. And that is... It, it's pretty effective. I mean, if you really need to heal a character, you might as well just bring in a healer like... Here I could bring in Hiker instead of uh, Bart and make sure everyone is at full health before the end of the battle. Uh, but yeah, so, so this is interesting. Uh, the enemies have heal over time for 10 turns, so I could see this being very difficult to fight in if they were a bit more powerful. Uh, like maybe if this was on the last battle, that could be really interesting. I like this. It's something different. Uh, I like the idea of giving them a status effect for that many turns. Okay, that was nice. A lot of counterattacks right there. Let's go ahead and take out these units in one or two hits. Shark attack, 5,000. And the bonus hit. I love that bonus hit with a red beard. That's why I love the Forbidden Island. Uh, there's always this debate going on. Forbidden Island or Raft Raiders. And in my opinion, Forbidden Island is the easy winner for a lot of reasons. But Redbeard getting those bonus attacks is just one of them. Also, theoretically, he could keep getting them and just keep attacking and attacking uh, because it's, uh, I believe it's a 15% chance on any attack. Okay, here we have a couple options. Let's go south because I want to get uh, more tiles for this. Right now, I only have one for Magisto's Tower. And also, we can go down here and get some tiles for Brutus again. And then up to the top where we'll finish off with some Eldorado Fortress tiles. So let's hop into this battle, although let's read this again. All attacker foes lose 10% attack for the entire battle. I don't know if that's applying to me or them, 
That might be a bonus that the enemies have, in which case I would be the one with less attack. Let's just grab... Actually, we, there's only a few battles left. Let's go ahead and grab a 7-star Jester. Ooh, this team right here. What star level are they? Okay, level 44, 6-star. Yeah, if these were 7-star gear 6, level 50 characters, this would be a very difficult battle. Because uh, Garmadon does tons of damage, and if he keeps getting revived, uh, that would be a nightmare. Let's actually see how much damage he does at 6 stars. I think he's 6 stars. Uh, no, I did not want to click on Zombie there. Sometimes these characters are very difficult to click on, especially if there are tons of buffs uh, or debuffs on the field. There we go. Yeah, 6 stars, level 44, and gear 5. Curious to see how much damage he's going to do. I think he's going to take the next turn after Redbeard, maybe? Let's go after Aurora, try to get her out of here. Nice bonus attack right there. We'll just do a basic on Yuppie. Okay, 4,000 damage. That was not too bad for a character that's as weak as he is. Okay, Yuppie just used his revive. Now we can take out Aurora the second time. And then we can take out Yuppie and remove all of their revivers. Okay, she, she actually has disarmed. Okay, well, look at that. I was going to leave her be, but she died anyway. Let's go ahead and take out Willow. Why not? Even though we probably should have gone after Garmadon. But, I mean, he's weak. It's not really going to matter. And there we go. Okay, basic. And a basic from Bart. There we go. 3,400 from Bart. Not bad. Again, I love the Forbidden Island. Very, uh, very powerful set. We will go this way. We're, we're really getting quite a bit of these relics. I'm curious to see... Uh, actually, let's just go to the relic store real quickly. I don't remember what's in here. Okay, event store. No, no. Brick Expedition. Down here. Here we are. Uh, Dojo Showdown. Okay, yeah, that's one of the new Ninjago sets. Uh, Demolition Dummy. And, ooh, Tier 3 set tools. There we go. Now we're talking... Okay, that's fantastic. That's where all of my Brick Expedition currency is going to go. Uh, relics, right? Yeah, relics. Uh, I'm going to be spending all of mine on this right here because these are uh, very hard to find. I think they're only also available from the Master Shop, and that's it. And currently, all my Master Shop currency is going towards Willa because she's such a slow farm that I figured i got to start now if I want her eventually down the road. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be tempted to also buy Ninjago set tiles, but I feel like these will be s a smarter purchase. We'll have to see. And I assume the character and set here will rotate over time, and uh, there'll be different ones available there as well. But alright, let's go back to Brickspedition and finish this thing off. We've got two more battles here. All heroes are inflicted with Clumsy at the start of the battle. Okay, so heroes typically refers to your allies. So I guess we'll see here what that is referring to. Uh, if that little blurb at the top is referring to my team or their team. We'll see who gets the clumsy. Okay, we do. So that uh, attack thing I mentioned earlier was applied to my characters. Or, or I guess it, it said foes, right? So I guess it was applied to them. Did it say an attack decrease? I think so. So that would have went to them. Okay. Well, I guess that's appreciated. Uh, again, the animations are a little bit slower here in Brick's Edition. Of course, Kai's massive hit is dodged. And, okay. Okay, four in a row. Five? Six. Okay, what? Six misses in a row. And a dodge. What on earth is happening? Okay, finally, we're connecting some hits. That was weird. And there's another miss. I'm not sure if they had a hidden buff or something, like for the enemies here, or if that was just some horrible luck. Let's draw some of the fire away from Scarlet, because we don't want her to die. We'll throw our big hit over on Kai. Try to kill him with this hit here. Let's hope it does. Okay, <laughs> 8,000 on a non-critical hit. Redbeard, I'm telling you, he's one of the best characters in the entire game. We don't need to stealth right here. I mean, we are getting kind of low on health. Let's go ahead and use an ultimate. 
Let's see if we can get to Redbeard's turn again so he can heal up some of his allies. Because we're getting slightly low on health and I want to be prepped for the next battle. There we go. We'll do a little heal here. And let's see if Lloyd can get a turn. Maybe he will. Nope. All right. Whoa, they're all going crazy there. <laughs> okay. Uh, 9B completed. One battle left. This is the one I'm hearing is extremely difficult. Uh, yeah, it's a 7-star gear 6 level 49 Ninjago team with Jay and Garmadon. So this is going to be a tough one, but it should be pretty fun. So let's bring in... Let's bring in Highwayman just to do some extra damage. And let's actually heal up Lloyd because I'm not sure how difficult this battle is going to be. And I just want to make sure that I don't waste using this Highwayman since I don't see any other shared Highwaymans. Total awesomeness of this team is over 200,000. That's quite a bit. Alright, I'm hoping we're going to win this one. We have a lot of damage with Highwayman and Kai as well as Redbeard. And a lot of uh, survivability with the other three. Let's take a look at this guy again. Yeah, seven stars, level 49, gear six. We'll go ahead and gain some buffs with Highwayman. And and we'll try to do a decent hit here. Not bad. I probably should have healed Kai there. Okay, so far it's going pretty well. I need one more hit on Lloyd. Here we go. That should take him out. No, not quite. 5,500 was not enough. Okay, here we go. Cook Bart taking him out. Uh, we will put Debilitate, or I guess not Debilitate, uh, Disarmed on Kai to make sure he doesn't use his ultimate. Uh, but there's Wu's ultimate. That one is deadly. We're now locked down for a turn. We cannot use any special abilities. Kai is getting dangerously low. We gotta make sure he does not die. I mean, if he does, it's fine as long as we win, since it is the last battle. But I have a feeling his ult... Okay, there he goes. I, th I think his ultimate might be necessary to make it through this last wave, because uh, Jay and Garmadon are gonna be there. We'll see. We can always retreat... But we are going to lose that shared highwayman, which might be for the best. Maybe someone like Burnabus might be a little bit better to have some more survivability against these big damage dealers. We'll remove Pep right there. And take him out. Okay. This is a tough team right here. Uh, Nia is going to be healing Jay. So let's go after Lloyd first. We'll try to get him out. Uh, let's. We can't stun, so we'll try to do the ultimate. Try to do as much damage as possible. Hope for a critical hit. Didn't get it, but it was still 6,000. And now we just got healed up by Wu. Let's still try to get this guy out. We won't stealth because I want to spread out the enemy attacks. And don't want them to just go for Scarlet. Okay. Let's heal Scarlet now. And we will try to stun Lloyd. There we go, that is quite a few buffs and debuffs on Lloyd there. And this should take him out. Perfect. Let's go for Garmadon now. Because he's going to be doing some massive damage. Let's flip these buffs. Or no, wait, okay. Scarlet did not have over 60% health, so the buffs were not flipped, but at least they were cleared. And there's Wu's ultimate yet again. We will remove Pep on Garmadon, since he had Debilitate, and now we'll apply Disarmed, but it didn't land, that's okay. And there he goes, he's out of there. Now Jay is starting to get that charge, so let's try to take him out. We'll heal with Lloyd, and we'll try to do a big hit here. It was dodged. We'll heal Scarlet again, because she's going to be taunting here in just a second. There she goes, taunting. She's tanking the hits. And now we just got Wu. I think we're going to win this one. Okay, we're getting close. Nia has her heal. Let's see if we can stun. Nope. Uh, did it just freeze? Yikes, okay. Huh, I was hearing a lot of reports of people's games freezing at this part on the last battle with Wu. 
and it happened to me as well. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we're going to have to retreat from the battle and attempt it again, but without Highwayman this time. That's definitely unfortunate, but that is our only option right now. Uh, yeah, auto doesn't do anything. All right, well, I guess we have to retreat. That is our only option. Okay, here we are at about the same spot, although this time my Kai is alive. Let's actually go after Nia this time. I'm not sure if the kill order will make a difference with it freezing or not, but it's worth it to try something else. Uh, so we might as well take her out, and uh, uh, Lloyd has disarmed anyway. So he won't be uh, using his stealth ability for at least one more turn. Go ahead and remove Hardy from him, so we can just kill him. We'll use our first special with uh, Jester right there and kill him with Kai. Now Kai gains tons of, uh, he gained tons of pep, so he'll take his next turn here shortly. Let's stun Garmadon. I think that actually took him out. And now we just have Jay and Wu left. Jay now has two stacks of charge, but it's not going to matter. Oh, he was saved by Hardy, I think, there. All right. Let's go ahead and take out Wu. And let's hope it does not freeze again. Right here is when it froze last time. All right, took him out. And there goes Jay. Right here. Perfect. Okay, we won the battle. There is map two of Brick Expedition complete. I was a little bit worried there for a second when our shared highwayman got lost because it froze on the last battle. But other than that, it went pretty well. Uh, it was quite fun. I'm really enjoying Brick Expedition. Uh, I'm excited for the next days. I'm definitely going to record some footage, and if anything interesting happens, I'll share that with you as well. And if I happen to make it to uh, day six or seven, I'll make a video on that as well. So you can see those later stages, uh, and we can take a look at exactly how difficult those battles are going to be. All right, well, that's going to do it for my first impressions on Brickspedition, or I guess second impression since I already did day one. But day two, I'm really happy with it. I enjoy the content. It's fun to have something to do, and I look forward to the challenge of the future days. All right, thanks for watching.